Injection Molding vs. Blow Molding, What is Right for You? On March 7, 2018 in Blow Molding Process. Are you building a product that requires molded plastic parts? Injection molding and blow molding are the two most popular ways to produce high-quality, cost-effective plastic parts and products, but both are used for different applications and have different requirements. Do you know the difference? Save time researching suppliers with this quick guide on injection molding and blow molding. Different products. Perhaps the most noticeable difference between parts made by injection molding and parts made by blow molding is that injection molding creates solid parts, while blow molding creates hollow parts. If you're producing something that needs one rigid wall, injection molding may be what you're looking for. Some common examples of parts created with injection molding are bottle caps, hair combs, and housings for computers and televisions. If you need a piece that can be either flexible, structural, or can hold a fluid, blow molding is more likely what you need. The most common example of a blow molded product is a bottle. Billions of bottles are created at very low prices using blow molding. But blow molding can also be used to make a variety of more industrial part shapes like coolers, fuel tanks, and stadium seats. See an extensive list of blow molded products here. Different processes. With injection molding, melted resin is injected into a hollow mold until it is completely filled. The injection mold is held together under intense pressure, sufficient enough for every part of the interior to be filled with high pressure molten plastic resin. The size of the machine and cost of producing a product is based on the amount of tonnage pressure required to hold the mold together. With blow molding, a plastic tube is heated and filled with air until it essentially becomes a balloon of hot plastic called a